And now Bears and Games is going to have a look at Final Fantasy X. Japan's favorite. All right. Oh, it's my favorite too. Really? No. Oh, good. No. Thank God. It kind of, I think it kind of killed JRPGs. It made them very much about extended voice cutscenes. Yeah, voice is what destroyed JRPGs, I think, on the whole. But I, I still like 10. Ten? Um, you know, I have a funny story about 10. It's not really funny, but uh, my mom got it for me. And it's the only game, usually when she buys games, they're, they're like Space Race or something, Looney Tunes Space Race or something. But I didn't even know this was out yet because I wasn't, I I took a break, break from games for a couple of years when I was in film school. And uh, yeah, she, I, she got me a PS2 in this game. And it was the best Christmas of my life. Fantastic. Yeah. So I have fond memories towards this game, just as my mom actually getting me a game I really wanted without me asking. I had very high expectations for this game. I, was, I had a lot of fun playing it. Looking back on it, I hate this game. I really? really do. I, I do. I don't. Like, going back and playing again, I like Yuna, and I think that's a linchpin for this game. If, if you like Yuna and you don't hate Titus... You might like this game. There's a particular scene where they're both laughing, and they're sort of fake laughing, and it's supposed to be really, you know, free-spirited and cute, but it just looks so stupid. That's I, I hate Yuna because of that. There's one scene that just kills her for me. Oh, well, that that scene wasn't great, and I didn't like the water romantic song. Remember the water the dance? J uh, you cannot have a new Final Fantasy. But this is a good opening. one romantic J-pop scene. I thought this was an excellent opening, because it starts, it establishes a tone which it doesn't quite carry all the way through. It's just kind of sad. Because you get this is him getting back to his hometown. Spoiler mm -hmm. alert, whatever. Yeah, uh, and it's everyone's dead. You also get a taste of Nobuya Matsu's new music style in this, which is just piano, one hundred percent piano. It's very, uh, it's very different from the previous works. And, and we have Zipper Guy. What's his name again? Zipper Guy. Oh God, uh, the, uh, Precipitation. Um, what was the name? Wind power. No, no, no. I mean uh, the, the art designer. Oh, this Nobuya is Mezzo. Okay. No, no, I was no, no. Titus. Or, no, sorry. Yoshitaka Mano. No, this yeah. is Tetsuya Nomura. God yeah, this is Nomura. There's so many names. <laughs> I can't think anymore. Uh, and this is like the ultimate um, Nomura looks. Like he took... This guy looks... Uh, one thing I didn't like about Cloud right away was that he looks... Or not Cloud. Titus. Is that he looks like um, Zell. Mm. He's dressed like Zell. He has very similar shorts to Zell. Yeah, that long I, short look. I freaking look. hate Zell. Man Prees. And Final Fantasy. The music's nice, though. And that's a... I thought that was a nice, mature opening. You know, it's like Final Fantasy's getting a bit older. They know the players are getting a bit older, so... Fuck that. Give him, bring back the lightning storm fight with swords. That was cooler. Nope. So, Titus. Um, I, I can't do the name Titus. The first time I played this game, it's the first time I started naming characters after cars. Hmm. I realized, you know what? No. I'm not going to go with Titus as much as, as I want it. I'm going to have to call him something else. So... Mazda. No, 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 and, and for me it really fits. El Camino? No. no, no, no. I think you're getting it. Herbie? Yeah. You yeah. think he's a Herbie? He looks like a Herbie. It's the only way I could take the character seriously to him to have a ridiculous name. Right. Hey, I'm Herbie. Want me to throw this ball for you? Yeah, exactly. I guess it works. Yeah, and, and he's voiced by Ren. Herbie's, Herbie's or such Stimpy. a goof. Or uh, Fry from Futurama. Oh, really? And so, okay. Speaking of awesome openings... Here you go. Here's the big metal score. Yeah. I, I, what's with the music? Well, let's listen to this music for a second. Yeah. Let's go. It's totally extreme. I, I, I can't... Uh, and, okay. A lot of people told me, Oren, you have to talk about Oren in Bears and Games because he's so hot. I thought he was kind of cute. Well, he's like an old Japanese guy. I felt bad for him because nobody talked about him about his alcohol addiction. He's constantly swigging wine out of his side jug. Like, well, he's old. He's dead. <laughs> That's kind of true. Wait, is he dead? Oh, no. Spoiler, spoiler. Well, so does, he's very much did alive. Did he ever exist? The existential game we're playing. Yeah. And, okay, Blitzball, I was fine with it at first during this awesome kick-ass introduction. Then you actually have to play it and it's the worst thing in any Final Fantasy game ever. It grew on me. It really did. It, as soon as I got hooked, like tried to get hooked on it, I kind of did. And th this is pretty awesome. This is great. It's like suddenly he's noticing that things are getting all kind of messed That's up. That's how cool he is. He's just walking past the destruction as if nothing. Yeah, look happening. at this. Whoa. Meanwhile, no one's noticing because they're all, you know, watching the Xanarchy. There's so much high fiving in this game too. They high five so much in Final Fantasy X. Oh, what, what's what's going on? Oh, and, and. He's doing his uh, his uh, air kick. His pat is this? Did he take this from his dad, or is this his move? This is his move. Okay, I like this. This is a good shot. Where he just sort of freaks out. Yeah, he suddenly realizes. A doy. Explosions. See, this is a good intro. This is a better intro, I thought, than the piano thing. I like the piano thing too, though, because it's like, I don't know, because it, it cuts back to this, so it starts off a little, you know, danger. 
Hey, everybody dies. That's that, that's everybody dying. A lot of people die in this scene. So Sin destroyed Xanarkin? Yeah, it was too technologically superior or something. Comes and destroys technology. Oh. That's their theory, at least. And then we learn it's a bit different. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I got right to the end. But since I didn't do Blitzball or any of the other extra bonus things, I was underpowered and I couldn't actually finish the game. Mm. Uh, which kind of sucked. So I have to go... If I want to finish it, I have a save game near the end. I have to go back and... Um, do you know dodge a hundred lightning bolts and win a million games of Blitzball and so you've never actually beaten the game no but oh there it is yeah oh it's the German guys sorry is it Albed yeah the Albed oh right it's I thought they're supposed to be like Middle Eastern I... here's the here's the here's the cliched bow legged thief character oh she's awesome though oh she's so she looks like she's gonna pee every time you see her in battle she got I those like punched her. together legs she is better than certain oh see here's a bear character some of the Albed actually kind of bearish, and they're wearing, like, weird fetish gear. Yeah. So, that's kind of cool, right? Leave it to the Germans. They aren't German. They're I thought they are supposed to be, like, Middle Eastern gypsy types. No, they're totally German types. Really? I think so. Oh. And you'll notice that uh, their language is just English with letters substituted. That's right. So, it's... It, you can actually guess and figure out what they're saying. Yeah, after right. you get about three letters, you can pretty much get the topic of the conversation. Yeah. It's usually, what's going on? Who is this? That's pretty much all they say the entire time. And here's game. the best shot in the game? Titty touching? No. Kuma. Oh, knees him in the groin. Oh, poor, poor precipitation man. And Kuno, I'm guessing, is sorry. Okay. I think that's what she says to him. And then you find out that... Kirby, uh, who are you guys? Anyway, <laughs> this, is, this makes the game kind of hilarious. Yeah, it makes the game a lot better. Because <laughs> you can't change anyone else's name. Uh, and yeah, Riku, I like Riku. Uh, you know why? Because North Americans love Riku. That's what you told like me Riku. last... Didn't we have this argument That's last right. time? <laughs> Japan loves Yuna, but Amer North Americans love Riku. It's just, Don't you know, I guess we like skanky little girls who walk bow-legged into battle and just want to pee all the time. I don't see this bow-legged thing. You gotta see her in battle. It's like, oh, she's just she's, um, she's ready to take it, man. <laughs> I like that one. Finally. Okay, now speaking of characters that I hate yeah. and hot guys in this game, mm. well, you know, a little bit of both, I don't hate I don't hate uh, Herbie slash Titus, uh, even with his Meg Ryan hair. Mm. Yeah, he, that's what it is. He looks like you've got mail. Yeah, and not you got M A L E the porn. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, there's there's sort of yeah, there's some bears sort of. But then you got this fucker. Yeah, I hate him. Voiced by I hate him so much. Oh, Bender see, there from you go. Fry, I think. Or Bender from Futurama. I'm starting to think of characters. Isn't that names. Marcus as well? Yeah. Look, see, there's a bear guy. There's John a bear guy. John DiMaggio. Yeah. Oh, really? That's John DiMaggio. But I hate him so much. I know, he's pretty... Oh, awful. brah, you know, I like playing my game, brah. That's, that's just this game. I, aside from Orin, I actually hate all the characters in this game. I just hate him. I Not hate to mention him. the worst name for a villain in history. What was it? Seymour. <laughs> Seymour, are you trying to destroy the world again? Uh, I'm yeah. sorry, so Mom. Then, what, do you think of, what do you think of the Oryx? Other than, than uh, like, keep us hot. Uh, and, uh, and then you got... Cubby goatee guy. They all kind of look kind of strange, though. Their faces. Well, it, it's because they they didn't quite have the. Uh, yeah, they don't have the money to animate everybody's faces. Well, yeah, or the I think the the system. So they just pick one face and stretch it. So then we get some of the other characters here. We get. Uh, oh, you know what? I Lulu. thought Lulu was cool. I know you don't like her, but I thought Lulu was badass. I think just too many bad cosplayers have kind of ruined Lulu for Maybe. me. I just like whenever she wins a battle, she bends over so you can see as much cleavage as possible. This She's, game. Was cosplayer nuts? Like, yeah. Whatever reason, cosplayers love this game more than eight. I think. Well, they're pretty extravagant costumes. Yeah, and eight's then, pretty simple. Then you get. Uh, uh, it's got some good summons. Mm -hmm. uh, va Although they get they ditched the names. You know, this should be shouldn't this be Quetzalcoatl or something? I don't know. Even Quetzalcoatl though was new to the series, wasn't it? Well, out of eight. Oh, and it was in five or something. I can't even remember. And, and so uh, I have my own set of names that I like to call my uh, summons. Flava Flav? No, no, this is Flappy. Flappy. <laughs> Come on out, Flappy! Because that's what I called Quetzalcoatl as okay. well. You know, and uh, um, if you noticed, I named uh, the... What's the name? The fire guy? Ifrit. Ifrit. I named him uh, Toasty. Interesting. And Shiva's uh, Frostess. Oh, here you go. So for the Here's furries... the closest thing to a bear in this game. Well, no, Keepa. Um, I'd, I'd say Keepa, but he doesn't have a very good model. But for furries, there is so much anthropomorphic art about this guy that he obviously has a huge following. Mm -hmm. And you have to fight him at first, uh, which I forgot about. Playing through the game, I hadn't, I've only played through this game once, and I haven't finished it. But yeah, you have to fight Kamari, and uh, then you know he figures out that you two shouldn't be fighting. It's stupid Waka. Yeah. Look at him! Look at his hair! 
I'm looking at Lulu in the back. They should just call her Tits. Like, screw Lulu. <laughs> Let's just rename her Tits. Titsy McGee. And, and, hey, uh, Titsy. And, and Riku should be Ass, mm-hmm. ass Girl. Because she's all about her butt. Don't walk on Lulu hook up at some but, point. So, the Japanese like Yuna, right? Yeah, they're, they're, they, they worship Yuna. They think she's so freaking cool. This is the number one Final Fantasy rated game, in the number one rated Final Fantasy game in Japan. Really? All because of Yuna. Oh, wow. I don't quite get it. She's oh, okay. oh, look, he's got daddy issues. Oh, it's Jack. It's Smoky Whiskey Voice Jack. He's yeah. back again. Isn't that John DiMaggio? I don't know. Oh, maybe. what's the matter? Kuno. Oh, I'm so angsty again. Kuno. Kuno. <laughs> Kuno. <laughs> Arr.